I really love decorating apartments in The Sims, but I kind of just use the same like two apartments and decorate those over and over again. There's just not that many apartments in this game and there's only a couple that I really like. I'm kind of picky about my Sims apartments. I feel like so many of them are too big, the walls are too tall, the windows are weird. So I know the ones that I like to use and I kind of just have my Sims live there like over and over and over again. We've only got apartments in two worlds. Obviously Sam Maishuno has some, but then Evergreen Harbor has a couple as well. This building's got two apartments and I like these because they're kind of just big rectangles. They've also got a decent amount of windows. So these are kind of like nice blank slates. I use these a lot. And then this building has a couple apartments as well. And these are a lot smaller. I feel like I furnish this one the most often. It's a little bit bigger and it's got way bigger windows. So I kind of just prefer to live there, but I never use this one on the right. This one is the smallest apartment I think in the entire game. And that is definitely not a bad thing. I kind of love my Sims living in small apartments. I feel like it's more realistic. Some of the ones in San Maishuno are enormous. Like there's apartments that are four times the size of this entire floor and it's just too much sometimes. But I think there's a couple reasons that I don't really gravitate towards this particular apartment. One of the biggest downsides to Sims apartments is that you can't change the window placement or anything. So you're kind of stuck with the existing floor plan because I can't very easily put like a bedroom here in the front because there's no window right here. In fact, the only window in this entire living space is this little tiny square. And I just don't really love that. Like I kind of wish there was at least a window right here or something. You can upgrade this building like through gameplay in the pack, but just by default, the whole building has one window in the front and it kind of stinks. And also because of the shape of this, like you can't really do much else. Like it sort of lends itself best to having a bedroom here and a bedroom here. And so I think for that reason, it's not as fun to decorate because you can't really change it up all that often. But I think today I want to give it another shot because I really do like this and I feel like I would have fun playing in it. So I'm going to bulldoze this lot and we're going to try and redo it. Before we get started building though, I'd like to really quickly tell you about today's sponsor. I just got my hands on a new Logitech G Cloud and I have been having so much fun playing with it. This handheld gaming device puts access to advanced graphics and huge libraries of blockbuster games from the cloud into your hands. It makes it so you can play pretty much whatever you want, pretty much anywhere. I've been playing a ton of House Flipper on it, but I also just discovered that you can play The Sims on it. And this is huge because I am very much a PC gamer. I never thought it'd be possible to just hang out in bed and play Sims. I don't really think of The Sims as something that I can play handheld like this. And I don't mean to sound dramatic, but this genuinely feels life-changing to me. The Sims runs great on here too. And now I can set my Sims on fire from anywhere because what we really need is more fire toilets, right? I've been kind of sick this week. So I've been in need of some nice cozy game time and it's been so great being able to curl up, put a movie on the TV and play some Sims on this thing. It's got a really long battery life too. It lasts like 12 plus hours. The screen is really big and bright. The controls are easy to use and overall it runs really well. And this might sound weird, but it's also really easy to hold and play with. It's really light, so it doesn't feel too heavy in my hands. And it's also really easy to carry around with me so I can play with it on the go. I feel like a lot of you would probably really enjoy this Logitech G Cloud. So if you're interested in checking it out, I've got a link down below. So thank you Logitech for sending me this, but also for sponsoring this video. All right, back to the build. So we don't really have a lot of space to work with in here. I think I would like for this to still be a two bedroom apartment. I'm not sure if I want to do like a nursery or if I want to do a kid's bedroom. I think I'm going to split it up like this though. So we'll have two bedrooms back here, a bathroom here. Um, I guess maybe like kitchen back here and a living room here. We'll have to see what all we can fit. So maybe I'll start with that. I feel like maybe the kitchen could go like in this whole back corner, but maybe I should do the bedroom with like a door here or something instead. Sometimes when I'm trying to figure out layout, I kind of just put like some filler furniture in almost. Basically, I'll just place like some stuff down so I can kind of see how much space we have. It really helps to like gauge how much room you have for couches and things like that. So now I'm kind of wondering if we could do the kitchen back here and then maybe this little tiny corner could be like a breakfast nook. I'll probably use a smaller sofa, like just a two tile wide one. We could always get like an extra chair or something for more seating. And I think that this is reasonable. This is obviously really similar to the original apartment layout, but like I mentioned, you can't really change it that much. We're stuck with like the windows being here and the front door being here. So this will work. I really like the color of this floor. So maybe I'll use that. Wait, should we try and make this kid's bedroom like cloud theme? <laughs> is that too on the nose? 
house. I mean, the rug is new and I haven't used it yet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I think there's even a cloud wallpaper on this one. Oh my God, <laughs> is that too much? That might be a little bit too much. There's actually a lot of cloud things. Like we have this cloud ceiling light. There's even cloud wall decals, but that, that might actually be too far. Look, I'm usually of the opinion that in The Sims, nothing is too much, but I, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I think that's too far. If I remember correctly, I think that the growing together bed comes with like all the same swatches as that rug. That's just silly at that point. I feel like we should try and do something more reasonable. Although having a bunk bed is probably a good idea. It doesn't have to be this bunk bed, but just like any bunk bed, because the room is quite small, so we could fit in like a bed and a desk this way. Oh, you know what? I kind of like that yellow swatch. That might be a fun accent color to use. And then we can pair it with the new desk from Growing Together. I really like this desk. I like how it has the clutter, like all the kids stuff on it. They gave us so many cute clutter items and Growing Together. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should put a computer in here. Maybe we could just do a laptop. I don't know if I'll be able to fit a computer anywhere else in this apartment and it's so useful to have one. Oh, this dresser has like the cute blue swatches on it. Is that too much? <laughs> I can't really tell. It kind of takes up a lot of space. I almost want to use something a little bit skinnier like this one. There's a more clear walking path this way from the door and then maybe we could add in like some toys and stuff in the corner. Oh, if I put this little toy box here, the bear won't be functional, but it's just so cute. <laughs> here, maybe I can give them like another little toy. We can put a couple of the real toys kind of like around the toy box and the kid can play with those instead of the bear. Okay, these paintings are sort of orange and not yellow, but it does bring this color over to this side. I'm not sure if we should add too much else in here because the room is so small. So maybe I'll work on the kitchen next. We could probably keep with this like blue and yellow color scheme. Okay, are we doing this on a budget? Like, is this gonna be a reasonably priced apartment or am I just going all out? Maybe I'll try and keep it like somewhat reasonable. It doesn't have to be like a cheap apartment, but we could also try to make it not be like 50,000 simoleons for like two rooms because I've been known to do that and that's not good. <laughs> that's not helpful to anyone. Okay, I need to have a fire alarm. I've learned my lesson. If you've seen any of my Let's Play content on YouTube, you'll know why, but I have this fire toilet. Literally, it's a toilet that catches fire occasionally. Occasionally is maybe an understatement. It's like once a day. It's a disaster, so I, I've learned my lesson. I put fire alarms in my builds now. I used to think it was funny when my Sims caught fire, but at this point, it's gone too far. It's just, it's too dangerous. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this rug. I bet I could use that. We could probably even use this couch with it. Maybe I'll use the tiny living TV too. Yeah, the tiny living TV is a nice item. <laughs> it's a good size. It's got like nice decor. It's also a bookshelf, a radio and a TV. So like it's genuinely really useful. It's expensive, but it's got like everything all at once. I don't know if I want to use the matching chair though. That's like too matchy matchy. I wish this one didn't have that chevron pillow. I really like the color of it. But this, it reminds me too much of high school. <laughs> it reminds me of like 2014. And for that reason, I don't know if I can bring myself to use it. I always try to use that chair and, and I just can't. High school years has a couple really cute sofas. Oh, that one's got some good colors. This one has too much pattern, I think, but this one maybe could work. It does have that kind of cute, like minty blue color. And then these pillows are kind of, a, I don't know, that one's kind of orange, but well, I could probably do that and then use the tiny living chair. At least this way, it's not like the same thing twice. How are we feeling about this? Cause I do like this little table over here. Oh, maybe I could try and get a fun shelf on the wall next to it. Cause there are some kind of interesting wall shelves like these. I mean, that's a little bit big, but even from Eco Lifestyle, this one's a bookshelf. I could probably size that down and put it there. Maybe I'll get another light too. So it feels less dark in this corner. Okay. I like that little blue accent on it. I feel like it kind of brings stuff together. I would love to have like a more fun tile accent, but I never know if I like the paneling on this one. I do like it as the backsplash at least. Although maybe that, is that too much? Should we just do white? Cause we could just put like a white tile backsplash. But then again, I like the color. I'm gonna like sit on this. I feel like sometimes when I'm doing these builds and I'm not sure about color scheme, it helps to just leave it there for a bit and kind of like look at it. <laughs> I think I have an easier time deciding if I actually like something when I kind of just like stare at it for a while. I also think it's easier to be objective when you like look back on it with fresh eyes after a couple minutes. I would love to do some pretty tile in the bathroom. I'm just not really sure what, is that like 
too much or is it cute? I think that's the theme of today, but you know what? I don't think it's too much. <laughs> I also want to use the new shower tub combo from Growing Together. They've really stepped up their game with like the bathroom stuff recently. I don't know if you've noticed, but so much of it is so cute. I know I said it wasn't going to be that expensive and now I've used like a really expensive shower tub combo, but I think it's worth it. I never know how cluttered to make these like really small bathrooms because I don't want to like make it so you can't walk in there. But also I want to add decorations to it so it's kind of hard to like figure out where that line is. I've been doing this a lot where I put like a bathrobe on the back of the door. Don't worry, it does function. Your sim just like opens the door and, and they walk through it, which I guess might bother you, but I don't care. <laughs> but like whatever, it looks nice when the door is closed and the door is closed most of the time. Maybe I will get like a slightly more expensive kitchen set. Like we could do this one instead. It looks a little bit prettier and it's like a little bit nicer. Oh my God, it's so annoying to place the clutter in the corner like this. It keeps slotting. So in the corner, I put like a fruit bowl, some paper towels, stuff like that. Oh, we should get a thermostat. Maybe I'll just put that right here next to the door. I really love the idea of doing these three paintings together, but I'm not sure which ones to use. I guess I just want them to be like a better color scheme. I guess the problem with these paintings is they aren't really meant to be tiled like that. I mean, it's cute, but it also doesn't really match what we're going for. Something like this gallery wall is probably a better fit. It just is also not the right colors. How about this one? That's a lot bolder than this. I do really like this though. Like I like this enough to change this. What else is there? Oh, this is kind of cute. Mm, it's also not really the right colors. Oh, how about, wait a minute. This cats and dogs one might work because these two swatches kind of match the rug. We're not really going for like this vibe. Yeah, that does kind of fit what we're doing a little bit better. Do we want to like pair these two together with the signature or not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. I'll look at that for a while longer too and then we'll come back to it. How annoying is it that this rug is clipping into the wall? Because I think it's kind of annoying, but I want to have like a, you know, a doormat. Oh, we could probably put a couple little shoes by the door. I think that the table will still be fine. I don't think it should affect the chair. Oh, doors glitch. <laughs> I have this problem all the time, but I don't know what to do when that happens in an apartment because normally you just like click on it to put it back. Um, okay, let's reload. Fingers crossed it's fixed. Okay, yeah. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I think it'll just fix itself, but it does look really alarming when the door is just glitched into the wall. Okay, here's an idea. What if I tried to do like those nesting coffee tables? I've seen this a lot in real life, but I've never tried to do it in The Sims. I basically just sized down one of them and kind of like nested it underneath it. I feel like that looks really nice and then it leaves space for you. Are the ones from high school years better for that? There is like a little tiny coffee table from high school years, but you know what? I think I like how this one looks better. Oh, actually, speaking of tiny living, maybe we could use this as like an entry table. Let's move some of this stuff around. Maybe we could put these paintings over here. I'm not loving the black frame on them. That's kind of throwing me off. It would be so useful to have a little table like this though. And then we could like hide some shoes under it. It just feels really realistic to have like a place to drop your keys. Oh my God, I can literally put keys. We have the phone and keys from the kit. You know, for such a small apartment, I'm kind of using a lot of packs. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I have definitely gotten a little bit carried away with this one but look how cute that looks. Isn't that so nice? Oh, what if we try to do like some photos? Instead of doing like any of the default artwork, we could take pictures and we could hang them up. Yeah, I've decided that I'm gonna get a sim and take some photos. I'm just gonna like walk around. Okay, Stanley, welcome to your new apartment. All right, I've gotten him a camera. Um, the weather's not so good here, so <laughs> maybe I'll go to Willow Creek and just take some photos. This is definitely a slight detour from the original plan. Oh, Agnes! Wait, Stanley, listen, I think that this is perfect. This right here is art. Originally, I was kind of imagining I would get stuff like this though. <laughs> You know, like sort of landscapey photos. We're going to need eight total. Some of these are actually really nice. Like this is a really pretty view. I think I've got enough photos. So I'm just going to go back to the apartment now and hang these up. This is actually a great tip for budget building now because those frame things from the pack are zero simoleons. So if you use like the bb.ignore gameplay unlocks cheat, then you'll be able to get them and they're free. And then you can hang up some really nice photos of like Agnes Crumplebottom. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's such a random addition because the rest of these are like landscape photos. And then there's just Agnes on a bike. I like it though. Okay, I'm getting way too distracted. So I'm gonna try and finish the rest of this apartment now. I think a lot of the apartment could probably be painted white and then we could have like a blue or green accent wall. I could maybe have a little, there could be like a brick accent wall too, maybe over here. Maybe I'll use that in the bedroom as well. All right, I think the living area is done. The last thing to do is this main bedroom, which feels a little bit dark. Should I use the new bed? It does have some kind of fun swatches. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no. We must have like a bluey purple, like this. That kind of matches, right? Annoyingly, we don't have a single nightstand that matches this wood swatch. So we have to like intentionally choose a different wood color. Maybe I could have like a yellowy orange rug kind of like this color. I think, honestly, I think that my first pet stuff might have something like that. Like this is kind of the right shade. It's definitely orange, not yellow, but it does actually match perfectly. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could use the matching desk then. This chair kind of matches this blanket as well. Well, I could have a computer in here. So we can leave this desk open in the kid's room so the kid can actually do their homework and then we can have a computer here. I forgot that this desk has that like green accent color, which I'm not obsessed with. Maybe I can put something to hide it. <laughs> I can just put a plant there. I love this item from one of the kits because it's a speaker. I never put like radios in my Sims builds because I always forget about them. But this like matches the desk so well. It just looks like a bookshelf pencil cup and it also has speakers. Ooh, how does that look? Are there any colors that look nice on this? That one, honestly, kind of matches the room. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. This room I feel like is coming together really nicely. I'm trying to put a little bit of clutter on the desk, like the music, a plant, maybe some books. Something like that might be nice. But then I'm not sure if I should get another dresser. I think there's enough walking space here, so it should be okay. Maybe I could do it in that sort of light color. I think that kind of brings everything together. It's got like all the colors from the bed and everything. Well, that turned out really well. I feel like this apartment's kind of cute. And to think that it all started because of a cloud rug. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this on the gallery. I might save my game first. To put apartments on the gallery, you have to delete walls because basically the game needs to think that this is all one room and then you can upload it as a room. Oh no. Oh, it says that it has custom content. It's because of the photos that I took. It also looks really weird. There's like no good angles. Okay, well, it doesn't actually have CC. It just has photos. I'll stick it on the gallery for you. I just called it Pinecrest Apartments 402 because that's what this lot is. Sometimes it's so hard to know like where to place things, <laughs> so hopefully that helps. I still think the kids room is my favorite part to be honest, but I'm pretty impressed with the color scheme in this primary bedroom too. I like how this all looks. This new bed from Growing Together really is cute, isn't it? Okay, well, on that note, I'm probably gonna end this video right here. Thanks again to Logitech for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna check out that Logitech G Cloud, I'm gonna have it linked down below. I have really had so much fun playing with it. Obviously also thank you all for watching the video. I make Sims videos like this every single day, so feel free to subscribe subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. I think I am obsessed with the growing together build items. I know I used a lot of them in this build. This always happens when a new pack comes out. I use the new stuff like so much, but it really is cute.